Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flytech. Today I will show you how you can build this rear and middle coverage for your Boeing window frame. In the rear cockpit, this post here ends at the end of this chart holder, just like my wood structure already does, but in the measurements I am using, this post uh, has to be a width of 9 cm. My post has a width of 5. And I don't want to see in this wooden structure here inside the cockpit. And so I will uh, surround uh, the post with 2 cm of foam on both sides. Whenever possible, I try to use my table saw to cut the foam. As you can see, it produces a fine cut, sharp edges and a smooth surface. But be sure that you don't use a blade with too many teeth, because too many of them can produce a lot of heat and as you can see it brings the foam to melt and creates such ugly bulks at the edge of your cut. All parts were cut from a 50mm foam board. To make a big slot into the board, I made several cuts to bend the generated stripes out of it. You have to eyeball the angles and cut little pieces of the foam until it meets the shape of your lower frame. To bring the cover nearer to the frame, I had to cut away this outcoming edge. In a previous step I've cut away this piece here, but that's a mistake. I will have to glue it on again, because uh, we will need this side here to build the highest part of the frame. When you build this at home, just cut away these outer parts here. At the full post, the cover had to be extended with two extra straps. The back side is trimmed flush to have the possibility to install panes later. This little block, I think the pilot can store two pencils in it, was pre-drilled with an 8mm drill and finished by hand with a 10mm one. Now I want to explain you the cuts that are made in this piece here. You have to imagine that this side here goes to the rear part of the sidewall and this part goes to the front. At both sides I will cut uh, one centimeter inside this piece here. 
I will do this cut with a bandsaw, but you also can do it with a handsaw. On the front side, the cut will, I hope you can see it here, uh, go down until this edge here and goes up just to this part here and is uh, 4.5 centimeters from the top here which means um, the thickness of my uh, frame and two centimeters extra. The rear part of this piece here is a little bit different, also one centimeter deep cut, but the first part you can see here is a very uh, steep angle up to here. And then it again goes down to this edge here up to this point here and from this point the angle is a little bit steeper and only cuts this part here and again up to a point 4.5 centimeters from the top. This frame here is a little bit too big and this is because of this underlying post here. So I will try to plane a little bit away from this post to bring this foam nearer to this edge here. this piece here, I realized that this piece here goes very far to the inside and to not letting the frame going inside more than two centimeters, I will make a straight cut into this piece to meet the outlining of this piece here. Vertical connectors are again some pieces of cutting, testing and reshaping. I rounded the outside edges and fitted an extra piece to round the inside edge. All glass close pieces were prepared before laminating to save time during the process. To laminate the glass close I'm using acrylic one. If you want to know more about this product you should watch my previous video where I'm introducing this in detail.
second layer of mixture was applied and carefully rubbed over with a sponge to hide any brush marks. Then we go for a filling and sanding session until you come out with a smooth surface. Apply the coat of primer and several coats of paint. And here it is, brought in place for the first time. I haven't fixed it until now because I decided to cover all the parts with a coat of clear varnish to protect the paint. But don't be afraid, I will show you every step in fixing all these parts in my next video. So stay tuned, tell your friends about this project to help this channel growing. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the Flytech.